Hello my darlings and welcome to a brand new fashion video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's new in my wardrobe and I thought that this would be a really good time to do this as we are, well, we're kind of already in cyber week. I feel like it's cyber month this year. It's a little bit crazy and I thought that hopefully this video might just give you a little bit of an insight into the things that I have bought into my wardrobe over the past six weeks, one month to six weeks, I can give you a little review and let you know whether it's worth investing in. If you are a very regular watcher of all of my vlogs, and hats off to you if you are, because I know that there are so many to keep up with, then chances are you might have seen maybe 60% of these things. But I know that lots of you just come and watch the fashion videos, which is absolutely fine. So I thought I would round up all the newness in my wardrobe into one video. So as I mentioned, there are quite a lot of very, very early cyber discounts going around the World Wide Web this year. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm obviously filming this video a couple of days before it's going to go live, and a lot can change in a couple of days. So what I'm going to do is leave a little pop-up like this on the screen so that if anything that I'm talking about has been reduced in the Cyber Week sales, then I will let you know about it and everything will be linked in the description box down below as well as the discount codes that you need in order to get the best discount. So hopefully that'll just make the shopping, if you choose to do any, a lot easier. And a very quick note on Black Friday, Cyber Week, I know it's really, really overwhelming, not only all the discount codes and just keeping up with what retailers are going live when. So just to let you know that I do have a full ultimate list of Black Friday sales over on my blog. If you didn't know, I have a blog, I update it every single day. And there is this one blog post, I'll leave it at the very top of the description box. I'm updating it pretty much hourly with all the very best Black Friday and Cyber Week discount codes. So just bookmark that page. You can check back every single day. Not only is there a full list of all the brands, all the sales, all the discount codes, but I've also got these little boxes. I'll pop a, a display on the screen here so you can see what I mean. I'm also doing an edit of the best things to buy because again, that can be really overwhelming. Like a couple of days ago, Selfridges launched their Christmas comes early, AKA their Black Friday sale, but it takes hours to go through and find the very best products. So I've done the hard work for you. I've done the edit. I've got all the discount codes on that blog post. So bookmark that page and check back regularly. Okay, so without further ado, let's go into what's new in my wardrobe. And as always, let's start with what I'm wearing right now. So this dress I decided to purchase in the hope that it will be my 2020 Christmas dress. Last year, I actually had pretty much the exact same dress, but in burgundy, and I've taken a few photos in that dress and I've been posting them on my Instagram lately. I'll pop an example on the screen here. Loads of you have been asking me about that dress and sadly it is sold out. So I wanted to try the new version and see if it would be just as lovely. So as you can see, the silhouette of this dress is pretty much identical. I love a fit and flare silhouette. It's so flattering where it cinches you in around the waist and then puffs out on the skirt. I think it's such a lovely, very feminine silhouette. I like that it's a little bit kind of knit wary on the top. It just makes it so comfortable. Cinches me in around my rib cage, so not around the tummy, which is very important considering I want to wear this on the day of the year where I will eat more in that day than I pretty much ate, eat every other day for the rest of the year combined. I pick out at Christmas and there is nothing wrong with that. So the fact that this doesn't have anything restrictive around the tummy area is very important to me. I also think it's a really lovely elegant length. So even if you are having Christmas dinner with your husband's grandparents or whatever, it's still very elegant, very demure. And I just absolutely love it. So this is 99% going to be my Christmas dress of the year. I have accessorized with some new jewelry. I actually, I was saying in a vlog, I haven't actually purchased that much from Monica Vineda this year, but I decided to treat myself lately. This is a beautiful necklace from the Doina collaboration with Monica Vineda. It's made from recycled silver and then plated in gold. And I've also got two bracelets on from that collection as well. And you can actually pair these necklaces together. You can clip them together and make them into a chain necklace, which is really lovely. There are so many ways you can mix and match the Doina pieces and the altar pieces 
from the Monica Veneta collection. I've actually asked for the Doina earrings for my birthday from a few family members to chip in together. So that will match this necklace if I am so lucky as to receive that. I think you have seen the rest of my jewelry, but I will leave all the jewelry that I'm wearing a linked in the description box down below. Up next is this absolutely gorgeous knit jumper. So this is in this really classic cable knit design, which is just totally timeless. What's a little bit different about this one is that it is a v-neck jumper, so great if you do have on a really lovely statement necklace. I have very much enjoyed wearing this and this necklace because you just get a little glimpse, it's not too in your face, but I have rediscovered my love of v-necks this year. So other than this interesting neckline detail, it's just a classic knit jumper, and I like that it's a little bit longer. It's definitely not a crop jumper, so if you are wearing it around the house with leggings, which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty much my daily uniform, a nice knit, and a pair of leggings. It just kind of skims underneath your bum so it doesn't feel too revealing and it's not too um, graphic, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So the perfect thing to wear around the house, but also it is a really beautiful quality knit. So if and when I next go out to London or things like that, it'll be a really lovely layering piece, which definitely has the ability to look smart as well. Speaking of coziness, something else that I have been wearing so much at home is this beautiful long line cardigan from a brand, oh, it's actually still inside out <laughs> from when I last wore it, from a brand called Seen On Her. This is one of those brands that you may have seen on your Instagram feed and oh, if you love that feeling of wearing your dressing gown around the house all day long but you want to be a little bit smarter then might I recommend this it's quite heavy it's a pretty weighty cardigan really gorgeous snuggly material I have been wearing this again surprise surprise with leggings and what I might have to do is pop a vlog clip on the screen here because I would do a normal try and clip for these leggings but they're actually in the wash at the moment. These leggings from Gymshark, I have been living in them. So I've been wearing, well, pretty much the exact outfit that you're seeing on the screen here actually. Those leggings with a sleeveless top because if I'm working in the kitchen or the family room, it's actually pretty toasty in there. But then if I work anywhere else around the house, then I'll pop this cardigan on and that is pretty much my favorite working from home everyday outfit at the moment. And then I I feel like we're at the time of year where luxury loungewear and luxury pajamas is the best time of year for those kind of very, dare I say it, extravagant purchases. So I decided to treat myself to a night wear nightwear? Sleepwear set from Sleeper. It's a brand that I've seen on Instagram so many times. I thought this set was really lovely. It's just a plain white shirt and trousers with this gorgeous like blush pink feather trim. The trousers also have the feather trim and I just think it's so fun especially if you're having a pajama day or perhaps you have Christmas morning when you spend all day in your pajamas why not treat yourself to a lovely bougie pair like this I just think they're so lovely as you can see tag is still on I haven't worn these in real life yet but I just think they are fabulous a couple of quite luxurious um, footwear additions to my wardrobe firstly my new Valentino boots oh my goodness so I worked with Farfetch on a vlog um, a couple of days ago hopefully you will have caught up on that one and I was talking about classic things in my wardrobe that have really stood the test of time and the reason why I chose these boots is because, was because they tick so many of the boxes making them a really really good purchase so the fact that they're classic they're comfortable they're going to go with so many of my different items in my wardrobe I think that these are a truly wonderful investment piece I love the chunky block heel, it's gonna make them so comfortable. They do, I can confirm, look great with leggings, but I'm equally excited to wear them once lockdown is a thing of the past with slightly smarter outfits as well. I think with midi skirts, even with dresses, lovely long winter floral dresses, these are just going to be the perfect way of elevating that kind of outfit. And then on the flip side, something a little bit more sporty and maybe a little bit cool for me, I decided to go for these Chloe trainers. So yes, I'm not really a trainers person, but I'm very much a Chloe person, so I thought, if there are any trainers that I can add to my wardrobe, and I do, I have to say, I do recognize the need for them, especially if I need to shock her or leave the house in my leggings, then adding a pair of lovely trainers like this. And I think I am due a pair of trainers. So the trainers that I wear to the gym are about four years old. They're the Stella McCartney Adidas um, collection. They're pull on, you know, you don't, there's no laces. I love them. They're great because you can whack them in the washing machine. I would say most of my friends, for example, they probably treat themselves to a new pair of trainers every year. Whereas I just have the same pair on rotation, whack them in the wash, job's good in. 
So over the years, the money I've saved from that one pair of trainers has allowed me to purchase these. That's how my brain works. I'm always justifying purchases like this, um, but I think they are fabulous and they really do look quite bougie with my leggings. So I've been really enjoying jazzing up a very casual outfit with Chloe trainers. Speaking of footwear, kind of, I also have a new pair of slippers. I don't know about you, but my slippers are now my most <laughs> worn pair of footwear in my entire collection. This is a lovely, very, very snuggly pair from a brand called Sophie Allport. If you watch the vlogs, I'm sure you are already familiar with Sophie Allport. It's a really, really lovely gifting brand, especially if you know a homeowner. They just have the most gorgeous things like tea towels, tablecloths, dog beds slippers, Christmas tree decorations, all so many lovely things like that. They very kindly sent me this pair of slippers and they are so, so snuggly. And they also have these little elephants on there and I just think they're absolutely adorable. So I'd love to know your opinion on festive party wear this year because obviously I feel like there won't be any Christmas parties because I think the rule, at least here in the UK, is going to be the rule of six at Christmas but let me know your predictions down below. So what are our thoughts regarding party wear? I feel like I definitely won't be investing in any. I'm not going to be spending a lot of money on any party wear, but I've actually already had a few invitations to Zoom Christmas drinks and Zoom Christmas parties and things like that. So affordable, cute little things which are going to make a statement on Zoom. That is where I am heading when it comes to party wear this year. So this is just in my opinion, absolutely perfect. It's a cute little crop top. I have styled this with a high-waisted and um, kind of silvery champagne midi skirt, both of which are seriously affordable, both in the high street. So it's a perfect way of having a lovely festive party wear outfit, but without spending a fortune. This would also look lovely underneath something if you have a sheer blouse. I mean, hopefully restaurants are gonna be open in the lead up to Christmas anyway. So maybe you could wear something like this under a blouse if you are going out. You just wanna have like a little preview of your sequin bralette underneath your shirt. And then the very opposite kind of bralette, I wanted to show you the matching sports bra for my Gymshark leggings, which I showed you in the vlog clip earlier. This is an Adapt Miles seamless sports bra in moss gray. I got extra small in this and the um, Vital seamless leggings, the ones that I showed you. And I just think this color is gorgeous. It's called moss gray and I would say it's kind of, well, actually that sums it up pretty perfectly. It's like a it's a grey with a hint of a mossy green shade. It has a little bit of padding in there. I think this is going to be really flattering. And now that I have my Peloton bike at home, I will be getting a lot more use out of sportswear. So I decided to treat myself to this set and also this long sleeve. I guess this would kind of be like a running, running jumper. It's one of those very slimline tops. Zip closure, very, very classic grey shade for any outdoor exercise or exercise indoors even on a cold morning. This is perfect, perfect for things like warm-ups perfect if you are going out for a jog. I personally don't do that, but if you do, then this would be perfect. It has got the little um, thumb hole on the sleeves and then the Gymshark logo at the back. I have to say I've only discovered Gymshark, well I've known about it obviously for ages, but I've only been wearing it myself for the last month and I am fully hooked. I see, I see what all the hype is about. I am a full Gymshark convert. It's just so comfortable and so flattering and I love it. Okay, now I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think I might have found another alternative to the Reese Tyne trousers, AKA the trousers that I wear the most and rave about the most here on my channel. It is this pair. They're kind of leggingy, jodhpur style trousers, and I got them in a burgundy color, which I thought was a quite nice festive color. These with one of my cable knits will look absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like leggings, but just a tiny bit smarter, so a little bit more acceptable for work. You look like you're wearing smart trousers, but you get the comfort of leggings. So I thought in this lovely burgundy oxblood shade, I thought they'd be absolutely perfect. And for those days when I'm visiting a country pub or going for a nice long walk with the dogs, this is from Holland Cooper and it's one of their really wearable, very countryside attire kind of kind of pieces. So you have got, it is a jumper, you have got these little um, elbow patches I love that design detail. And then a suede patch on the shoulder here as well and buttons on the shoulders. I think this is gonna look so great. Again, with black leggings. <gasps> I didn't bring them upstairs, but I'll show you in the try on clip. 
black leggings, my Holland Cooper wellies, which yes, they are without a doubt the most comfortable wellies I've ever tried. They've got a lovely sharp lining, absolutely nailed that countryside glam look. So this is a new addition to my wardrobe and I just love this biscuity brown shade. I think it is so flattering. And other stories are just such a go-to retailer for me at this time of year, especially because their knitwear is just absolutely glorious. And I love this little cardigan. I have been wearing this a lot from home, of course, with leggings. It has got this little, um, I thought it was a bee at first, but actually upon closer inspection, I think it's a wasp on the buttons. And other than that, it's just a really simple v-neck cardigan. If you are looking for lovely knitwear to elevate your daily outfits when you're working from home, leggings and a cute card cardigan like this is something that you just can't go wrong with. I think I purchased this jumper, but in a really pale blush pink last year. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same design. I'll pop a picture of this year's version on the screen here. Pre I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed at all since last year, but I wore it so much and I will wear it again this year so much that I decided to get this kind of greeny gray shade as well. It just feels a little bit more cool, a little bit more I don't know, I can imagine very stylish girls like Hannah from Coco Beauty, Emma, Emma Hill, EJ Style, or has she rebranded just to Emma Hill? Anyway, I can imagine those like Instagram cool girls wearing this, holding their, holding their coffee with jeans, maybe a Dior bag, I don't know, with the Missima necklaces layered up over this. It's just that kind of vibe jumper. I believe it's 35 pounds, which is so good. And it's just so comfortable. Highly, highly recommend these um, these knitwear bits from And Other Stories. And then this is kind of similar, but longer. It's actually a jumper dress with a buckle to cinch you in around the waist. I love jumper dresses. I declare my love for them in most videos. So comfortable, an instant outfit. Again, with some lovely necklaces, some beautiful earrings, and some boots, maybe my Chloe boots or my new little Valentino boots. Just an instant, cozy, but wonderful autumn winter outfit. This is something that I need your opinion on. I'm not sure whether to keep it or return it because I don't really need it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a puffer coat in light pink. Oh my goodness, it is so like squishy, so soft. It literally feels like you're wrapping yourself up in a pillow. It's got a lovely champagne-y light gold zip, little um, hidden zips as well. This, this could potentially be a good ski jacket. That would be a great place to put your lift pass. Love that it's a very invisible zip. More zips down here. You are completely zipped out with this. Really fun lining. It has got a beautiful floral lining and then faux fur trim around the hood, which is removable. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know if I need it. So please let me know your, your verdict on the beautiful pink coat in the comments section down below. So if you follow me on Instagram, a couple of days ago, you will have been treated to a very crazy evening. I just got completely hyper. I was voice noting Freddie and we always just lift each other's spirits so much. I ended up doing some crazy dancing on my stories while trying on a few bits from H&M, including this dress. I feel like this dress with my Gucci belt and Chloe boots. I think that's how I styled it. Um, when I first showed you this in a vlog, I'll be putting those clips on the screen here. Just looks like a full Chloe or full Gucci outfit. It definitely doesn't look like an H&M dress. It looks so much more elevated. And I styled this dress in the exact same way. I just feel like those luxury accessories are a great way of elevating affordable dresses like this. I do love a winter floral. This one with the purple and pink tones, I think is absolutely beautiful. I have been wearing this a lot around the house. It is a sleeveless top with this little tie detail at the sides. You may have seen in a recent vlog, I did pick up a few beautiful bralettes from Victoria's Secret. So it is nice to have this this little open side detail and also if your if your house does get pretty toasty with the heating on in winter it's just a really nice thing very cozy but you don't get too hot and bothered when you're working from home this is something else which is really fun for your zoom events your zoom festive events because it is so striking so this is a champagne gold top and as you can see it has a massive bow detail I chose this because I thought it'd be a really lovely top to wear for filming my Christmas gift guides and then a couple more cozy pieces is perfect again for wearing with your leggings. These have got the most beautiful pearly details. So this is kind of like a bralette, a little bit longer, more like a crop top in this gorgeous fluffy fabric. And I just adore this little pearl detail on the buttons. And it looks so, so cute when worn underneath this cardigan, the same gorgeously soft fluffy fabric. 
<laughs> that's very fun to say, with the pearl buttons. You will most probably have spotted this in my coat collection video and in most of my vlogs, but this is the coat that I am wearing pretty much non-stop at the moment. It is the perfect teddy coat, so, so soft and cozy. I would say coziness is the number one priority with all of my outfits at the moment, as you probably guessed, and so whenever I leave the house, I just wanna feel snug as a bug, and this coat has just been an absolute dream, perfect for this time of year. Another nice piece of knitwear to show you, I just really like the big chunky pattern in this. It's quite a, quite a loose knit, so I don't get too hot and flustered in this, and then at the back, it does have this open detail, which I just think is a, a nice, subtle design detail that makes it a little bit different to every other knit in my wardrobe. A new handbag. This was a very kind gift from the Michael Kors team. I always think when I hold black up in front of the camera, it does something really strange to the lighting. I think my camera is just not used to me featuring anything black, but when it comes to accessories, black is of course the most timeless option. This is called the Soho bag. It's Michael Kors's newest handbag. Lovely padded leather. I feel like this quilted design is just never gonna go out of fashion. I can imagine this being the perfect handbag to pop on your Christmas wish list. And I love that they've thought about this. So often, I don't know about you, but my handbags are always really full and really heavy. And the chain straps just always dig into my shoulders. They have actually popped a little leather section on. So when you have got it, whether it's crossbody or on your shoulder, the skin on your shoulder is protected. And also your clothing is protected because nobody wants chain marks in their clothing. So this was a very, very kind gift from Michael Kors. Thank you so much to the team. And then last but not least, I really hope this is not sold out because it's one of those pieces that I just think is so perfect that surely everybody would have this on their wish list. It is this most beautiful top, very similar to the brown version that I shared with you in the autumn edit. It has the most beautiful, very subtle sweetheart neckline. I featured this in my Instagram post that went live yesterday, along with the coat that I just showed you. I just love these knitwear tops which have a little, a little hint of a beautiful design detail because they're super comfortable and yet they look fabulous as well. I like that this is nice and long. I think it looks best tucked in to skirts, trousers, jeans, and this neckline is very much on trend for this autumn winter. Perfect again with a classic necklace like this. Oh my gosh, I love it. And great for layering as well because it's not too bulky. It definitely adds warmth, but you can layer up cardigans, gilets, whatever you fancy on top as well. So darlings, that is everything that is new in my wardrobe. I really hope you enjoyed looking through all of these pieces with me and I hope you found it useful with the pop-ups for the Black Friday sales. Some of these things may not be going into the sale or they may not have gone live yet. So as I said at the very beginning, please do keep an eye on the blog post and also on my Instagram because I am sharing a top five. I don't want to bore you with too many Black Friday things. So on my Instagram, I'm doing an edit of the daily top five picks. So every morning I'm doing the top five sales of the day over on my Instagram. And we do also have the daily newsletter as well. So make sure you're signed up to that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon, probably tomorrow for the next video. Bye.